Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Sephora haul. As you can tell from the title of the video, it's everything I picked up during the sale, which was 20% off for friends and family. I know today starts for VIB Rouge, so I wanted to get up what I got during the friends and family sale for you guys and let you know a little bit of information that I have for the 20% off sale that's happening starting today for Sephora VIB Rouge and that will be coming up for regular VIB and insiders. This year Rouge has two sales, so two weekends that they get to shop. I know a lot of people were saying that they would rather have more percentage off being a Rouge, which I agree with, but it's nice that at least they're giving us two weekends to shop. So I'm excited to place an order on both weekends. I can kind of space out my orders and I picked up a little bit during the friends and family because I want to, as I said, space it out during these two offer weekends. Early access starts today, November 3rd to 6th. You use the code 24 Rouge and you'll get 20% off at checkout. And then for Rouge as well, weekend of 10 to 15, you will get 20% off using 20 for Rouge still as your code. For regular VIB, your weekend is November 10th to 15th, which is the second weekend for Rouge. And that's also the same weekend that's for insiders, but you only get 15% off if you are a beauty insider. So VIB get 20% off as does Rouge, insiders only 15%. And those are the dates confirmed for the sale and it begins today. So happy shopping you guys I hope you checked out my VIB recommendation and wish list You'll see a lot of the things I picked up from my wish list and some extra things because my list was constantly changing Up until today when I'm placing my order I have so many different things that I'm gonna get so you're gonna see in my haul what I end up picking up for both weekends but I wanted to share with you what I got during the friends and family sale just to give you some idea of the things that I would have picked up during the VIB sale. The first thing top of my list that I wanted to pick up was the Hourglass Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette and that's the packaging there. I am wearing it on my cheeks today. It is blinding. I have all the shades mixed and it creates that gorgeous glow you see on my face. So it does have three shades in it. We have Absolute Strobe Light, Pure Strobe Light, and Lucent Strobe Light. Gorgeous colors, beautiful finish. These are the most metallic that Hourglass has done, hence the metallic strobing palette. And it also just sits beautifully on the skin. I don't find it emphasize any kind of texture. That's why I really wanted to pick it up. Oftentimes with metallic highlighters, it emphasizes everything on the skin. This does not do that, which is awesome. So if you have more mature skin, textured skin, I would highly recommend checking this out during the sale. Save 20%. That was my number one purchase and I highly recommend it. I had my eye on it. I know you guys said that I would love it and I absolutely do. 100% recommend that. I've been using it so much. I think last sale I wanted to pick this up, but it was out of stock. And I saw it was in stock, so I decided to pick up the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze Perfect Tan Bronzer. This is their original one in Tantric. I did pick up the limited edition one when they had that out in the white packaging, and I fell in love with the formula. I do probably prefer the undertone of the limited edition one. I hope they bring that back permanent, but this one is still beautiful. I love it. It's warmer than the other one. The other one's cooler. But you can see it looks actually kind of cool on camera but it's on my face and it definitely pulls more warm and the formula is beautiful this is pricey to pick up but when you break it down for how much product you get in here this is actually one of the more affordable bronzers i want to say because you get 25 grams of product and any other bronzer you can see around that price range you're not getting that much product this is a giant so though it's one of the more pricey bronzers you're getting so much product in it it's 100% worth it. Definitely pick this guy up during the sale because this goes out of stock. I know on the Canadian website, the Sephora website, because I was always stocking this on there and I managed to pick it up. So really glad to have that finally. Then I also wanted another one of these matchsticks from the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna line. I picked up a bunch of other ones when it was first launched, but I never picked up one of these matchsticks for blushes and this color really caught my eye and it's called Yacht Life. It looks like NARS Orgasm pretty much, but in a cream stick form. It has that beautiful peachy gold shift to it. Look how stunning that is. I saw someone apply this to their skin and it looks so beautiful. Like I'm falling in love with it even more. 
now that I'm swatching it on my hand. And I have worn this on my cheeks already. I was playing around with this makeup as soon as I got it, and I love it. I love the formula of these. They can be drying, but I just feel like if you warm it up, like I did on the back of your hand, just do that and then apply it to your cheeks. It works really nicely that way. So it definitely needs some warmth to get the formula going, I do find, but once you get it going, I do really like them. Sticking on the Fenty Beauty Train, I picked up another of the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duos and I fell in love with the formula of these. This was another one I was eyeing. I swatched this one in store, so that's what made me pick this up. Initially during the launch, I didn't pick this color up because I thought it was going to be a little bit too dark for me. But it actually is really nice, especially if you use a light hand. If you have lighter skin than me, you can definitely still use this. Just use a lighter hand with the highlighter. This is Girl Next Door in Chic Freak. And Girl Next Door is the more subtle version. And then Chic Freak amps it up a lot. And it has that peachy shift to it. So pretty. So I had to pick up this one. This was the only other one that I didn't have that I wanted. There's two other shades that I didn't pick up. Didn't really care for, but this one I really wanted. The last three items were super random. I was going back and forth on brushes to pick up. I had a Tom Ford I really wanted to purchase. I decided to get two cheaper brushes instead of the Tom Ford one, which I might still pick up while you're watching this video. But these are the two brushes I picked up. I have this gigantic one from It Cosmetics. It's huge and it's their Heavenly Luxe Jumbo Powder number three. What I love about this brush is that it's flatter unlike a lot of my other larger powder brushes so that when you put powder on your face it's going to really press it in and you need to only do it a couple times because look how big it is. It pretty much sets your whole entire face in just a few seconds because it's so big so I've been really loving it for just pressing powder into the skin and finishing the face that way saves so much time it's the perfect shape I don't have anything like this and there's something about buying new brushes to me that I don't know I just love buying brushes I know a lot of people don't check out new brushes but I'm always open to trying new brushes because there's always like specific things that I want to do like a huge flatter powder brush like this that I really want. I have like specific things in mind that I want. This brush next to that ambient palette, favorite purchase that I picked up. And then I also picked up another one of the Sephora Pro drawing brushes, number 41. They come capped like this, which I really like. And I use this today. I just put it back to show you guys. And this is the perfect brush if you do cut creases and say you want to deepen it up just ever so slightly right above that cut crease. It perfectly puts product in there and also blends it out because it's so small and tapered but it also has that fluffiness to blend. It's better than a pencil brush just due to its shape and the amount of firmness to it because it's not too firm. It still has enough firmness at the tip because it's tapered but it has the blendability on the outer edges to really make it easy. So this is another favorite brush so particular but I, I have those things in my mind where I'm like I need a brush that's like this and I go looking for it find it and then this has been a love of mine I specifically wanted a brush to do that kind of work for my eye and I found it in this brush and I love the pro brushes from Sephora one of my favorite brushes out there check out the pro brushes they're so good and then the last thing I picked up during the friends and family sale was this Sephora Almond skincare socks and this is super random but these look like Christmas socks and I thought this would be kind of cool to pamper myself around the holiday season so that's why I picked it up maybe I should use it and let you guys know how they work so you can pick them up for people if you want to I'll do that by the time you see this video I will have used these and I'm gonna put in the video how I like these you're supposed to put them on for 20 minutes they're supposed to nourish dry feet soften rough areas and make skin supple and they're Christmas themed so I like those but if they work we'll see I'll let you guys know so that is everything I picked up during the Sephora friends and family sale I wanted to get up this mini haul before the VIB sale so that you guys could see kind of the things that I've been picking up. I'm definitely going to shop both weekends that are available for Rouge. I just can split my orders because the past two years I put a big order in and then Sephora has an inventory issue and I don't get my entire order. 
So that's happened the past two years. So I'm kind of glad that I can separate my orders this year just so that that doesn't happen because I do shop online. I don't like going in store, I like having my cart ready. So my cart was ready for today. I'll let you know how that goes if it gets canceled. I hope not. <laughs> so I'm going to be mad. But that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Happy shopping. Let me know what's on your Sephora wish list, what's in your cart, what you purchase, what you plan on getting. Love to know. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.